Hey everybody, I wanted to start by showing you the dry painting from my last video. It turned out really, really cool. So I am super happy with the results from that. And today I am just doing an itty bitty little painting. Um, I'm not even sure what size this is because I had my MDF cut and then there were some scraps. So let's see, maybe, I don't really know. Uh, it appears to be six and three quarters. <laughs> so real odd number. Let me put this away so I don't get paint on it. <clears throat> so this is just MDF that I primed with some Kills primer. Um, you know, pretty, pretty basic. Uh, I don't know if this will hold it. Yeah, it'll hold it until I'm done and then I'll move it somewhere sturdy to dry. So if you are new to me, questions most asked, this is a washing machine pan. You can get it in my Amazon list um, in the video description. Uh, my white base paint is Floetrol water and interior latex paint. Um, I have paint mixing playlists, so check those out. Um, those have really been the ones that I keep getting. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So today I'm using Artist Love Brilliant Magenta. This has Floetrol water and Liquitex pouring medium, which I dislike, but I was playing around with it. Um, this is possibly uh, Artist Love metallic turquoise maybe. Um, this is Payne's Gray with Floetrol and water. And this is Grumbacher Gold with Floetrol and water. So I'm... Uh, and I'm not fond of these straight edges because since it is MDF and it's not, I mean, I suppose I could really sand the heck out of them, but um, it's medium density fiberboard, so it's not like it's good, um, you know, a beautiful piece of wood, but it holds up great for this purpose. It's sturdy. It's, um, there's a lot of pluses for it, but I don't like the straight cut because it's hard to get it smooth. Usually I have, <clears throat> whoa, usually I have him cut it at a rounded or a beveled. And I thought I had told him I wanted rounded corners, but when I went to pick them up yesterday, they were all straight or 45 degree. So, oh well. <laughs> It is what it is. It's not like you can change them now. Well, I probably could, but I'm not going to ask him to do that. And I do get these from um, a shop teacher at a high school. So I don't know if I said it, but I want to do a mallet smash and tilt. So I will not be putting very much color on here at all. And then I want to spread it out and try and get like spider web. Um, I 
I torched that because I had shook up the white paint. See how much is on there. That's a pretty good amount. <clears throat> so these are pipettes. You can buy them like, I don't know, I think they come 100 in a pack. They might be on my Amazon list, but I am not entirely sure. Um, it wasn't until a recent video I figured out a decent way to use them. I bought them initially to suck up paint. But today I just want a very small amount of paint on here. bubbles yeah they're not great for this <laughs> so I mean I'm only using them up because I bought them about two years ago and refound them again and so but otherwise they're not really worth it Okay, I think I do, oops, I think I want a little bit more pink though. And, uh, oh, my mallet's over here. And, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about this cough, it just won't go away. I forgot to clean it after the, my last mallet smash, so it's really pretty. Yikes. And that is the perfect amount of color that I wanted. And now I'm going to see if I can get it to tilt all over this in real fine lines. Might not be enough paint to really move it around. But once I get it over an edge like I just did, then I can start moving it in another direction. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this cough is hanging on. So today is Sunday, tomorrow is the day I will hang all my paintings for my show. And I've got a bunch of people helping me to carry it all in and to help me decide where to put it all. And it sounds like some of you who live near me might be going, and so please don't be offended if I don't recall your name immediately. Um, a, I'm not good with names, and I'm probably going to be so nervous that I won't know what weighs up. <laughs> But it's so cute because I never dress up. I mean, for my job, I wear easily washable clothes, some <laughs> very easily washable clothing. But I've bought two dresses because I fell in love with two different dresses. And I may have mentioned this on my last video, but I think I think halfway through I may have to change into the other dress like famous people do, you know, at award shows. They're super cute dresses, kind of retro-y. Yeah, 
I mean, at work I have, you know, baby spit up all over me all the time, so I definitely don't wear dresses to work. I just had a light burn out. Do you see that? So this is not working out as much as I intended because there is not enough paint on here to easily move it. <clears throat> so I actually like, oh, God, this is a bad idea. There. Um, these trays have like indents, or actually, um, re I don't know what you want to call it. They're not flat. <coughs> so sorry for this cough. So yeah, so this is not what I had uh, intended. I am going to add more. I'm like squirting this paint everywhere. And I'm just gonna do a drop of that. that's pretty cool those colors so hopefully I can get this flowing a little bit better since I put more paint I put a, another layer of white underneath the initial Adding that extra paint. Oops, move it.
now it's the look that I like. Ooh, but I don't like that. Way too many crazy cells. <clears throat> Ooh, what to do about that? <clears throat> I'm smashing it again. See if I can still maintain the same similar look. I actually think I like this one better. going a little bit. Yeah, I like this better so far. It's softer. So since most of those cells popped up the first time, you can tell that not a lot did the second time. So that's why you'll see in a lot of my videos, I'll be like, oh my god, it's awesome, I torch it, and all these pop up, and then I change the entire pour because I don't like that look. <laughs> so that is often why I am changing um, pours at the end is because I don't like how um, the white has popped up underneath, but I think this is a super cute little tiny pour. Um, this is adorable. And I will be offering these little odd, odd sizes, um, uh, at a, I guess, discount or less than my normal. So just because they're little odd sizes. And I do resin all of my MDF pieces. I think it just looks nicer. So if you do see one that you like, give me a holler. I'm going to try and lean up and remove the camera without losing my painting. So isn't that detail pretty? Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.